Hello students. The last video we showed you how to convert between normal time and 24 hour time, which is uh, the way the military, for example, uh, talks about time. And this video will look at calculating elapsed time, which is basically the, the, the time period or the duration between two known times. So for example, how much time between 10.56 a.m. and 3.33 p.m.? Now there's lots of different ways of working this out. I'll show you my preferred method, which is to use what I call a blank number line. So here's how I will do this. I'm gonna start at 10.56 a.m. So on this timeline, not really a number line, in this case, a timeline, I'm gonna write in the next hour, which is 11 a.m then the hour just before 3.33 p.m., <clears throat> excuse me, is 3 p.m. And then the time we're trying to get to is 3.33 p.m. So now we can work out the time between by first going from 10.56 a.m. to 11 a.m., which is four minutes. Now from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. is four hours. And from 3 p.m. to 3.33 p.m. is 33 minutes. So adding all that together, we have four hours. Four plus 33 is 37. So the answer is four hours, 37 minutes. Now with practice, you probably won't have to draw the diagram, but you could use the same reasoning. Four minutes to get to 11 a.m., four hours to get to 3 p.m., and then 33 minutes more. Okay, let me try, uh, in fact, why don't you try these two? I've given you the, uh, the timelines if you want to use those. So stop the video, work out these durations, and then check your answers when you come back. Okay, let's see how you went. Well, I might do this one. I think I'll do this one here using the number of uh, the timeline and this one here, I'll just do it by talking through it. So you can see the difference between the two. So 2.55 a.m. I then go to the, the next hour, which is going to be um, 3 a.m. Then I have to go to 5 a.m. And then finally, I have to go to 5.41 a.m. Okay, well, that's five minutes. 3 a.m. to 5 a.m., that's two hours. And 5 a.m. to 5.41 a.m. is 41 minutes. So we've got two hours, five plus 41 is 46. So it's a total of two hours, 46 minutes. Okay, let's have a look at this one down here from 10.52 p.m. to 1.09 a.m. Well, I'm gonna basically do this one in my head. So I'm gonna think, well, 10.52 to 11 p.m. is eight minutes. Hold that in my head. Or if I wanna just make a little note, I can jot that down. And then from 11 p.m to uh, 1 a.m. is two hours. And again, if I want to, I can just jot that down or keep it in my head. And then I've got an additional nine minutes after that. So again, if I can keep all this in my head, that's the easiest way to do it or the quickest way to do it, or just jot them down. And of course, now adding them together, two hours and 17 minutes. Okay, let's move on and see what else there is. Okay, what is the time? Four hours and 43 minutes after 11.39 a.m. Well, the same idea. I start with 11.39. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is again go to, it's 11.39 a.m., so I'm going to go to 12 noon. Go to the next hour. Well, that's going to be 21 minutes. 
So I think, well, 39 to 40 is one minute, and then another 20 is 21 minutes. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Now I'm going to go to another four hours. So I go from 12 noon to four hours is going to give me uh, 4 p.m. Now, how many minutes do I have left? Well, I've already used up 21 out of my 43. That means I've got, uh, let's see, 43 take 21 is 22 minutes. So I've got an extra 22 minutes after four o'clock. Quick check, 21 plus 22 is 43. And it looks like the answer is 4.22 p.m. Okay, you have a go, please, at the last question. What is the time, nine hours and 25 minutes, before, in 24-hour time, 13.15? Okay, welcome back, students. Well, this one, I'm going to use my, my number line, or my timeline, sorry, and I'm going to work backwards. So I'm going to put in the time of 13.15. Now I'm going backwards. So first I'm going to go back 15 minutes. That takes me to 1300 hours. Now I'm going to go back nine hours. Put my little arrows on. I'm going to go back nine hours. So 13 take nine is four. So that's 0400 hours. And then finally, I've already used up 15 minutes. I've got to go back another 10 minutes. I'll write that a bit more neatly, I think. Not that the rest of it's all that neat. So go back 10 minutes. And that brings me to 0.350. So there's the time in 24 hour time, nine hours and 25 minutes before 1315. And just to finish off, the using the, the, the blank timeline is just one way to do questions like this. Whenever I ask students how they do that, um, do these sort of questions, I usually get three or four good techniques. So you don't have to use my technique. If you've got one that works for you, stick with that.